Member, for, uh, does the member wish to speak or reserve? Indeed. Your line? Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker, and I thank the member for, for Goldstein uh, for his motion. As we approach the seventh anniversary of the adoption of the United Nations uh, by the United Nations General Assembly of the Convention on the uh, uh, Prevention and the Punishment of Crimes Against uh, uh, Against uh, Crimes of Genocide, I also acknowledge the grave uh, injustices uh, uh, of the uh, uh, genocide against the Jewish community and the Second World War, and trust that the whilst there's an indictment against humanity, I trust we have learned as an international community something uh, since uh, where we can actually make good on wrongs. But I take this opportunity, Mr Deputy Speaker, to raise awareness about a present-day genocide that is occurring, um, as documented by the United Nations in the Rakhine State in Miramar, against the minority Rohingya Muslims. The current situation in Miramar is uh, it's not just mere violence or, or abuse, it is the atrocities, the human, uh, humanitarian crisis of a catastrophic proportion, which has resulted now in the displacement of over 700,000 people into uh, neighbouring Bangladesh. Miramar security forces have uh, perpetrated the gravest crimes on, on civilians. The situation has been described by the United Nations and Human Rights Watch as a textbook example of ethnic cleansing and crimes against humanity. Evidence uh, from a, a number of investigations also carried out by Human Rights Watch have documented a series of brutal crackdowns by security forces against the Rohingya Muslims, including extrajudicial killings, torture, suffering uh, of the Rohingya men, women and children, the destruction, arson and taking over of more than 300 villages by the Miramar uh, military, as well as the endemic rape and sexual violence. It's important uh, that, uh, uh, to note that uh, the, there has been a long history of uh, discrimination against the Rohingya. The government of Miramar continues to deny Rohingya citizenship, along with the provision of basic government services such as health and education. However, the violence uh, that is now occurring is of a different kind. It is now a campaign of ethnic cleansing. Now, Deputy Speaker, Bangladesh has opened its doors to uh, uh, the Rohingya uh, refugees uh, with um, with people from Bangladesh continuing to show uh, tremendous generosity and hospitality in the face of a uh, crisis. Despite the, the challenges uh, that the nation faces domestically, Bangladesh has shown itself to be a compassionate and caring nation. Now, Bangladesh is not a, a rich uh, country by any means and is not well equipped uh, to handle the influx of uh, refugees of this magnitude. And while agencies such as UNICEF, Oxfam and uh, Save the Children are working hard on the ground to secure humanitarian assistance and basic uh, services to the Rohingya, a large number of uh, displaced refugees you know, make the charge very, very uh, much more difficult. As uh, the late uh, Kofi Annan, uh, former General Secretary of the United Nations and Nobel Peace Prize recipient, and importantly, former Chair of the Advisory Commission on the Rohingya State said, we recognise the challenge facing the Rakhine State and its people are complex and the search for a lasting solution will require determination, perseverance and trust. And while I'm pleased that, that uh, Australia is playing a crucial role uh, um, to find a, a lasting peace uh, um, to this humanitarian crisis engulfing the Rakhine State, clearly, uh, Deputy, um, Deputy Speaker, a lot more needs to be done. I call on the government to take a stronger stance with the authorities of Miramar and to implement the recommendations of the uh, Advisory Commission by reinforcing our commitment for the support uh, for the unimpeded humanitarian access to all parts of the Rakhine State and as well as the refugee camps in Bangladesh. For those of us who supported Aung San Suu Kyi uh, in her quest for peace and democracy in Miramar, I've got to say it is incredibly disappointing to witness her silence and, worse, her feigned ignorance concerning the ethnic cleansing of the uh, Rakhine population. Uh, we, um, we must work closely with our regional partners to ensure that the government of Miramar recommits to the pursuit of peace and a process for national reconciliation. The situation uh, before the Australian government and the United Nations is urgent. We cannot merely play the role of bystander in the hope of change. Clearly, as part of the concerned international community and having a seat on the UN Human Rights Council, we have an obligation to act, not simply to spare uh, when hum basic human rights are at stake, particularly uh, when it involves uh, people within our region and within our sphere of influence. I thank the member. The question